launched, mm -hmm. right? And this is also what uh, you got the deep dive into in terms of uh, when we had the technical summit. So the main ones that we're focusing on now at this time frame are the ones that are going to be happening uh, this week, which are the Rampage 4 formula and the Rampage 4 gene. So the biggest design changes that we have, and the reason why they took a little bit longer to come to the market, is because we are working on an entirely new type of design for the audio. So um, you can see it actually when you hold it up to the light a little bit there. See that? Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Line right there. Cool. Uh -huh. It's uh, referred to. It's it's actually used in, in higher end audio designs. It's called moting. So we actually have a moat PCB uh, design. So this actual portion of the board is an entirely independent PCB layer from the entire rest of the board. So what we've actually done here is separated this, the pre-peg layer, the VL layer, all that stuff is independent. And the main reason why is, of course, when you overclock the board or you add more GPUs, you add a lot of horizontal interference can flow into mm -hmm. that. And so our big focus was not necessarily to add a different codec and a different design. Um, it's still the same exact Realtek codec underneath there. But what we wanted to do is achieve maximum specification. So if it's okay. actually rated for 110 TB, our goal was to get it to perform at 100% of its rated spec. So we don't want it to be affected by anything else. So um, we went ahead and we added that design. We also added this specialized 1500 UF cap. That cap helps to keep us have a higher level of capacitance, just like you know when we use a higher craps anywhere, and that helps us to keep a little bit higher driving strength. So normally your base codec is rated for maybe about 100 ohm. With that type of design, we're getting closer to about 150 ohm. So it's very similar to kind of our Zoner DG. You okay. get a nice little pump to the actual volume, get a little bit tighter sound stage, and we're also keeping the, the signal noise ratio really low. So it's got a clean, crisp, clean sound to it. Now of course doesn't take away any of the focus from our zone our line series of products we still expect that if somebody's looking for a better grade of audio then of course you know we got DG DX and the newer stuff that we're going to show you off otherwise the other rest of the key technologies that we have introduced there mm -hmm. are very much similar there's no big changes okay. in terms of any new feature set now there is going to be a new piece of software that I think that you guys think is going to be pretty cool that will also be rolled out with the formula that we'll touch upon when we actually okay. get to that system out there so um, moving on from